Good afternoon, everyone. Michelle Humes here, your Pucker Up gal. I have some tips for the older ladies. I want to say maybe over 40, but this can also be done for the younger ladies also. So start now. Don't wait until you're my age. <laughs> If at any time, hi, say hello. <laughs> hi, ladies. Happy Saturday. How are you? I love you too, Jen. Hi, Kim. Thanks, ladies, for hopping on. Can you hear me and see me okay? Um, I was going to turn my air off because the blower is really loud in the background. But it is so hot here today. And I was like, yeah, I really don't want to sweat and be hot while I'm doing my video. So I apologize if you hear this loud central air blowing in the background. So who's excited to hear and learn some little tips and tricks that I have learned in my business from professionals, from actual, from actual, my hair is a mess, from actual professional um, makeup artists. And skin care, people, yes, leave the air on. I know it is so hot. It is so hot today. So thank you for hopping on. Thank you, Replay Watchers. Hello to you, too. If you are watching this on the replay, please comment with a heart emoji or a smile, whatever you prefer, so that I know that you're watching this on the replay and I can give you a hello and a shout-out later on. You might have heard some of them, Jen. I've done individual lives. I really, I should have brought an elastic with me. What the heck was wrong with me? Why am I bringing an elastic? My hair is going to be in my way, y'all. It's going to be in my way. Let me do this. Let's see if I can do this. Here's a, here's a tip for you. Tuck it in your shirt. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, let's get started. So replay watchers aren't sitting here waiting for me to stop yakking away. Thank you for coming on. I appreciate you all for coming. I hope you have an amazing Saturday. My eyes are watering, so I will not be doing too much um, eye makeup today, but I will be doing um, sharing with you all some tips before you put your products on. So let's start. Who's ready? Show me some hearts. Show me some love. Who's ready for the first tip? I'm going to go over... Um, Five, let me see, one, two, I haven't written down, one, two, three, five things, <coughs> five things to help, excuse me for coughing. The first one is dry skin, and I am a sufferer, or was a sufferer of dry skin, severely dry skin, and the very first tip that I can give you for those that do love to put on makeup is to make sure that your skin is healthy and balanced because it makes a huge difference on your makeup application. It really does. So I'm going to go ahead and put on a little, just a little bit of my moisturizer. I am barefaced right now, ladies. I have nothing on. <laughs> I have nothing on my skin. Oh, my, this hair is going to really bother me. Okay, so this is a lot, a lot. This is way too much. But anyways, here's a tip for you right now. I'm going to put this on, and you want to make sure your skin is well moisturized. If you have dry skin, before you put any makeup on, make sure that you moisturize your face and make sure that it's not dry. It makes a huge difference, ladies. It does. What's everybody's plans this weekend? Tell me below what you're doing this weekend. I have my grands four grandchildren. You're going to see them later. Look for them. I'm going to do some pre-Halloween looks with four of my grandbabies later. Maybe I'll go live with them and show you their cute, adorable faces. But that's what I plan on doing this evening um, is doing some Halloween looks with them. Okay, I have a little bit left, and here's the first tip. For the older ladies. Are you ready? Went to an annual parade. Nice. 
Did you post pictures? I haven't seen. I haven't gone to your wall yet, so I will do that when I'm done. Okay, first tip for the older ladies that have, you know, you get the little wrinkles things starting to come, come about, right? Put extra moisturizer in those areas a little thicker than you usually do. Make sure it's a good moisturizer. Make sure it ain't got no chemicals now. And then you're going to just lightly fill in that area and let it dry. So what you're doing is creating a natural filler to those wrinkled areas before you put anything on. So you see I'm lightly patting it on under my eyes. That's the first tip for the ladies that do have the wrinkled areas. Just see how it's thick? It's really thick right there. I've had three hours of sleep, so today I have extra baggage. <laughs> We're going to fix that. Mm -hmm. Fix it right up. I use that, Kim, in the morning. I keep it in my fridge, and it feels amazing because it's nice and cold. Um, I use it in the morning, and then I use it at night before I go to bed, and I love it. It's actually helped a lot. It actually has. I've had three hours of sleep, and I really don't have the big, you know, that big line coming down like this when you don't have enough sleep. It's actually helped a lot for me. <coughs> So thank you for viewing. Okay, so that's already, see how that's already soaked in? It's already soaked in. It's done a nice, good layer for me. Okay, so that is the first tip. Oh, hi, Amanda. You are so sweet. Thank you for coming on. You are just, yes, three hours of sleep, girl. But it's okay. It's all right. Use it every day, Kim. Thank you for coming on, Amanda. Ladies, if you enjoy this video and you enjoy the tips I'm about to give you, please share this video. I'm not going to name my company name or the product names because I like to work with people one-on-one -on -one, um, personally. So if you are in the same business as me, please share this video. And if you are watching this on my fellow friend's wall and not on mine, and you see... Um, you want to know what I'm using. If you're not sure, you can't figure it out, please message me and I will let you know what I'm using. And they can help you. Please do not purchase from me. If you do see something I'm using, purchase it from the person that shared this video. Thank you, ladies, so much. Um, I, I don't like to say what I'm using. Not because I don't love my business, because I absolutely do. Okay, I absolutely in, in love with what I do. Um, I just prefer to um, not get into all the details publicly on my wall. Um, I love to work one-on-one -on -one with people, so that's what I do. That's my personal preference, and I like to make it easier for my friends like you, Kim, and Amanda to be able to share this. So that's my first tip. That is the make sure that you moisturize really well. So I've done that. Now for the second tip. Bum, 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 here we go, here we go. I know I'm silly, I'm overtired. <laughs> now I'm not even gonna yeah, I'm not even gonna tell you what it is, but I'm sure people will feel you figure it out. If you have oily skin, you need oil for your face. And I know that sounds crazy. I know that that sounds insane. Like what? What do you mean put oil on my oily skin? Um your face is actually screaming for moisture and what happens is this is what happens it be, produces oil to help moisturize your face but those oils are not good for you they're not good for your face and you're probably wondering why you have oily skin why am I breaking out why are my pores clogging um, and that's probably 99% of the reason why you might still be breaking out even at 40 something years old is because you have clogged pores from oily skin. Um, so what you need is a oil, a face oil 
that is all natural that will stop the oil production from happening and produces a balanced surface so that your face is no longer dry and it's no longer oily. You're putting good oils on your face. Hi, Andrea. Hi, sweetie. How are you? Andrea is going to be a first-time mama, so congratulate her, ladies. She's going to have her baby soon. Yes, I'm so excited for you. I'm so excited. So I put a couple of squirts of the oil. I do not have oily skin, but I'm going to show you another tip, okay? This is also for the people that have oily skin and also for those that don't want a full coverage when they use a foundation. So you just tap a little all over. Ladies, tap it all over your beautiful faces. You want to take care of your skin and make you look... <laughs> you can put it on your lips. Mm. <laughs> yes. You are so lucky you've never had acne in your life until... Oh, yes, adult cystic acne is no fun. Uh, no fun, girlfriend. No, it's not. I used to break out all the time. All the time. I'm 48. I'm 48 years old. Hi, ladies. Thank you for hopping on. Okay, so let me just lightly put this oil on my face just to show you. Look at that glow. This actually has, they have really good ingredients. Um, sunflower face oil. This smells amazing. But ladies, yes, take care of your skin. That's the very first thing you want to do. Don't wait until you're 50. Don't wait until you're 40. Don't wait till you're 30. Don't wait. How's that? Don't wait. You got skin. You need to take care of it. Okay? Mm. Love your skin. Love your face. I know you are. I know you're excited. I'm I'm really happy for you. I know you've been waiting a long time for this. I know you have. And it's going by so fast. I can't believe you're going to have them soon. <coughs> okay. That's the second tip. Oil. Make sure you put a really good oil on your face and don't just don't just put up with having oily skin. There's a reason why you're having oily skin. Okay, dokie. Mhm. Mm it feels good. Oh my God, I feel so good. Mm -hmm. It does feel good. Okay, so here's one that's going to shock you that you might not know. And I learned this from a professional makeup artist, okay? Y'all are going to get mind blown in about 2.5 seconds. I'm serious. Tip number three. Are you ready for this? This is insane. Let me just first prime my face. Let me. This isn't even a tip. This is a must do, okay? You must prime your face just like an artist that primes their canvas before they paint just like that man at the body shop that primed your car before he painted it maybe you got your house painted and they prime it before they paint it don't they well you got to do the same thing for your beautiful face mm. and make sure make sure you use a silicone free oil free primer because that will clog your pores mm-hmm free tip that's not even on my list y'all hi ladies thank you for hopping on share the video if you enjoy this I appreciate you very much okay so here's the tip you ready Whew, here we go this is this this blew my mind when I when I she shared this I have my concealer and I can use this concealer as foundation. Okay, it is a waterproof concealer and it is my shade. And yeah, I can use it as foundation all over my face. Um, but what I want to show you is this tip that if you mix a certain color with your concealer, it will eliminate. I'm going to show you right now. It'll, see the darkness? It's going to eliminate any darkness that you have. So we're going to do that first. Yes, we are. Girl, I'm not your... I, I know that you are kind of... You're under me, Kim, but you, we are equal. We are all together in this. There is no bosses or any of that. 
Thank you, Leah, for sharing. I appreciate you so much. I keep, I know I'm a talker. I'm, they call, what they call a blue personality. I like to have fun. I am a talker. And they, they say, they say that you squirrel a lot. You get off topic. And then this, that's just how I am. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to grab a little of, hang on a minute. Don't get me laughing because I get tears in my eyes from laughing. My eyes, I'll start, I'll start the waterworks. Okay, so I'm going to grab a very little bit of a color and it is an actual, um, it is like an, can you see that? It's like an orange like color. And then I'm going to dip it into my concealer. I know it's crazy. This is an eye pigment with my concealer. Oh, no, she did not. Oh, yeah, I did. Y'all, I did. And my concealer is well used. Can you see that? It's well used. I got to get another one. I could simply melt that in a, in a pan. Another tip. Oh, my God, I come up with these tips. Melt that in a pan to even it out and get every little bit of it. But I'm going to order another one. All right, so let me just show you, demonstrate. Move my hair out of the way, y'all. <laughs> Move my hair out of the way. My hair's going to be all over, okay? My hair not perfect. Bad hair day going on, okay? But this isn't about hair. This is about tips. Watch watch this. Okay, don't ignore the hairs. Just watch. I'm going to lightly, just lightly put some on, right? Let's do under the eyes cuz you know, I got I got some of that redness. Oh, look at my nose is kind of red. I got freckles. I love my freckles. I don't really, really cover them up too much. Oh, look at there's a scar. Oh, let's cover that up. Mhm. Mm and dark pigment from my eyes. Don't look at my eyebrows now. We ain't doing the eyebrows. <laughs> my eyebrows are really bad. <laughs> okay, let's get some more over here. I only did a little bit. Oh, that's way too much, but that's okay. I'm going to do this. I'm just trying. What I'm doing is covering up, covering up the dark areas, y'all. The pigmentation. You see that sun damage? You see that? Yeah, let's just cover that up. Oh, that looks pretty. It looks like a flower, actually. Mm -mm. Should I keep it that way? Mm. More darkness. More darkness. I don't like the darkness there. They call this like a face mask, like from um, being pregnant, but it actually got darker as I got older the more I was in direct sunlight. I'm still dipping. I still have the pigment, the orange, orange pigment and my concealer. And I'm looking, oh yeah, I'm up close and personal now, y'all. I'm looking, there's some more. See the dark, dark, there we go. Now, this used to be as dark as dark wood. I ain't lying, but my skin care has helped tremendously to fade that. I look like a mermaid. <laughs> I look like a, this is not intentional, y'all. <laughs> I look like um, a flower or mermaid petals. What are the other? <laughs> that was, it's not intentional. Mm -hmm. Mustache, you got a dark mustache? I should, I should have checked the cave before I did this close up. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to let that warm up a little bit to my, uh, my natural body temperature. And now I'm going to do something because I have, I have this because of my allergies. So I'm, I'm not even going to do the whole thing. I'm just going to do a little bit. But I have bad allergies, so I want to just do a little just to cover that up. A little bit because I have some, like really bad redness and oh I look like a flower mm-hmm flowers I hope you're all having a good time I know I look, I look funny I look really funny right now believe me I'm gonna blend it in a second I will if y'all work with me and you need to know exactly what I used, message me and I will give you the list. I will. So then if you share this video, your friends will, you'll be able to help your friends. Okay. All right. Here we go. I'm trying to move my hair. All right. Watch this. 
the watch. This is, I'm not going to say the name, but it was the orange in this. It was the orange in this, ladies. Oh, don't be, don't be afraid of this. This and this make purple. These are all primary colors. You can create any eyeshadow color you want with this bad boy. Let me put that down because we ain't talking about that right now. Okay. So, let's just, <laughs> let's just cover. I'm using a buffer brush because I am lightly going over. Ooh. I'm just lightly going over. My eyes are watering, so I'm going to lightly go over. I'm very lightly doing this. My hair. And you can use this concealer as foundation. Mm -hmm. But it goes on smooth and beautiful because my skin is taken care of. You're not going to see any dry, flaky skin patches. Mm -mm. Look, ladies, look. Look at this. Look at that. You see how it's evening out my skin tone? Ooh. It looks like skin. Oh, my connection is weak. Thank you, satellite. Mm-hmm. Look. See how even my skin looks? It looks like my skin. It's not thick. It just looks like my skin. Mm. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. Uh, it's awesome. It's awesome. If you're having pigment issues, dark circles under your eyes, we have shades for every skin tone. Yes, we do. Look at that. See that disappear? Look. Oh my goodness. Balance your skin. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I love this stuff. Christy Brinkley, Oprah Winfrey. Let me name a few people that use our concealer. Yeah, celebrities use this stuff, y'all. Okay? Yes, they do. Look, see how balanced? And that's just concealer. I have not put on foundation yet. I don't have to. Really, I don't. All I did was use a neutralizing shade. All right, let's do my chest. My hand there. Oh, yeah. Just lightly blending in that area. I put a lot on there. Just to kind of neutralize that redness a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Now it's so dark that I probably could have had a darker concealer, but now it looks a little looks a little more even, right? Mm. So that was the mm, third tip. Third tip. Now, I could put foundation on. I really don't need to put foundation on. But I could, and I'm going to, just to show you. A little added. A little extra, if you, if you want to say that. A little extra. So I'm going to get into my foundation with my buffer. And splash that on a little bit. Hi, ladies. Welcome. Welcome, ladies. And I'm just, this is a little darker than my concealer shade. It matches my skin color better than that. But I'm just going to blot that on really quick. And then I'm going to get into another tip for the 
ladies that have wrinkles starting. This is really easy to use too. This is wonderful. I'm just going to buff that in. Hope y'all are having a good Saturday. My face is nice and shiny because I used the must-do oil, a little drop everywhere, and I blended it in. Um, I don't have oily skin. And this really, this foundation is wax-based, so you only need a very little bit. You do not need a lot, um, and it blends really, really good to your body temperature. So you only need a little bit. Okay. Now, for those that do have oily skin, here is a tip for you. I'm going to show you right now. Close this up. You need a very lightweight setting powder because your face will look shiny like this, okay? You need a lightweight setting powder. Um, ours is actually white and it'll stop the shine and it'll set your foundation for you. Hi Betty, hi Melanie, hi Maureen. So it looks white. It doesn't go on white, it actually goes on clear. And this is what the professionals use before they do videos and um, photo shoots so that the flash of a light from the, from the camera or whatever doesn't bounce off and show up on their face so it stops that from happening. So I'm just going to blot that all over lightly to make it kind of matte. I'm moving up close because the light in my mirror is actually reflecting on my on my face but because this is a bright light. This is a bright light y'all. The older ladies, you want to not put powder too much underneath your eyes because look, I still have the pink from yesterday. I haven't taken it all off. <laughs> um, you want to just do light just a little bit because it actually will bring out those wrinkles a little bit more. You don't want that, right? Mm -mm. That's it for flawless looking. Your face looks like good skin, right? Your face looks like it's just nicely, really good skin. <laughs> Ooh, hair. My hair is a mess. Okay. So, let's see. Another tip I wrote down. I did the covering, the redness, and the dark spots. You want to use a setting spray. It's like hair spray for the face. This will actually hold it in place for 16 hours. And it won't budge. It won't melt if you go out in the heat. None of that stuff. It's not sticky. It won't clog your pores. Spray a little bit of that. It doesn't burn. It's very nice. It's very cooling, actually. Oh, oh, feels good. Feels good. Love it. Love it. <clears throat> okay, here is the last tip. For the ladies that have those extra wrinkles happening around your lips. You know what I mean, you got those lines forming and it's very hard for you to wear lipstick, but you love lipstick and you don't wear it because it bleeds outside your lip. Who likes that? Who here has that problem? Me. Even though they're very, very tiny, I have that problem. So, what you need is a trick, and that is to use a neutral liner on the lining of your lip before you apply anything to your lip. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to do one side with the liner and the other side without, so you can see the difference in what it looks like when you don't use a liner, for those that have that problem. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Okay. Got it on half. Let me get a lipstick. These are very creamy and like chapstick, actually. All right, I'm going to do the lipstick on this side and that side, and then you can see the difference on what it looks like on your lip. Don't look at my mustache. <laughs> I got a little mustache, y'all. Portuguese. <laughs> Actually, not too bad. Okay, so. In about an hour, this side will start to come out a little bit. Just a little bit out to here. You see it and this side won't because I have a liner it stops it the liner stop literally stops your lipstick from going into the lines above your lip line it does stop it you only and you only need a little bit and it doesn't have to be the same color as your lipstick just get a neutral color a neutral one and for the ladies that shared this, if you need this for your friends, it's number, this one that I use, it's a new, dark, dark nude, it's 02, is the number. Mm-hmm. So, this side has no liner, and this side does. You can see it. It's going to bleed. It's going to bleed out a little bit, just a very little bit. Now, if you have, like, really deep lines... Um, on the outside of your lip, then you would automa you'd automatically start seeing the lipstick going up into those lines. And then you're like wiping it, trying to get it out, and you're like, ugh, right? Mm-mm. Stop, just stop it from happening. So let me just complete my look really quick. Um, I'm going to put some bronzer on. Um, the bronzer that I use is for any, any skin tone. I need new brushes, y'all. Better brushes. So I'm going to put a little bit of bronzer on my cheek area, just a little bit. I'm not going to do my eyes today. I'm going to leave those as they are. No eye makeup today. But I am going to do my eyebrows really quick for y'all. Let me see if I can find my... I use a dark brown called Brownie Points because I have dark hair. And I need to cover up that red from yesterday. And everything's so highly pigmented, so you really only need a little bit. You don't need to do a lot. Uh, just follow. Mm-hmm. I'm making this as simple as possible for the older ladies that don't like to wear too much. It's okay. Is that even? Hmm. Because I know there's a lot of ladies out there that prefer a more natural look. So I'm going to use the same color as liner. I'm using a liner shader brush. And I use the same exact pigment um, that I use for my brows uh, for liner. And I'm just, I'm lightly touching. Very, I'm lightly, I'm not even, I'm not hitting it hard, just lightly. a very little bit. See, just a very little bit. I have just a bronzer, a regular shade of lipstick, and um, what color was that that I used? It was 201. 201, not the number. Y'all know 201. 
and then just you know there's no eyeshadow on I just kind of colored in my eyebrows I put a little bit of bronzer and now I'm gonna finish with mascara um, this is a wonderful mascara it's been around for many many years something very light very very light it's a very easy look and that's it you need to watch again you missed the beginning it's okay it's okay yes if you do like Jen said if you spray your brush first and then use the pigment it will um, last all day long but you could also spray this setting spray, this this ten year younger spray. Oh, I said I said the name, but anyways, spray the spray over that, and it will hold it in place. Also, that's it. Those are my tips to share with you all today. I hope you enjoyed them. I hope you learned something. And if you have any questions about any of the products, and this is a shared video, you're watching this on someone else's wall. Please message them. They will help you. Um, and if you have any questions and you've seen this on my personal wall, you can message me anytime. I'll be glad to help you get the products that personally will help you. Because not everybody is the same. Everybody is, everybody's skin is different. Everybody's tastes are different. You might not like this lip shade. You might you might prefer a lip gloss for all I know. Right? So, yes. Um, simple and easy. And you literally take five years off of your face. <laughs> I mean, if you watch the replay and you see my skin, and, and I didn't even put I didn't even put on a brightening um, concealer. I could have done that. I can brighten up my eyes even more if I want to, and I use two concealers. Watch. I'm going to do that really quick, actually. Watch this. Make sure this doesn't have anything on it. i got to clean my brushes, y'all. If I want to brighten up under my eyes a little bit more, I'm going to get a lighter concealer. I use zero. And I'm just going to lightly, that area right there, just a very little bit, very little bit. Because you can see the bag a little bit, you can see it a little bit, okay, because I am 48 years old, y'all, okay, it's okay. But you don't have to stay, who says you have to stay looking your age? <laughs> Pooh hoo to that. You know, <laughs> you going out somewhere doing something? Hi, Kaylee. Thanks for hopping on, love. Okay. Yeah, I did clean this. The other day I used this for my blue pigment, my blue eyeshadow. I used this to do my face, my Halloween look, and I cleaned it, so it's off now. All right. So, and then you're going to lightly just blend that in. You can use a sponge. If you use your finger, use your ring finger. It has the least pressure. And even though I already have my liner on, I'm just going to lightly blend that in to brighten up my eye area. Just dab it a little bit. It blends in beautifully so easy to use and very little is needed you don't need a lot if you missed the beginning please watch the replay I share some really good tips for um, people with dry skin oily skin I was even gonna do 
a winged eyeliner to show you how easy that is, but I'm not going to do that today. <laughs> I won't make this too long for y'all. <laughs> See, brightened up the eye area. Now I look five more years younger, y'all. <laughs> That's it. Those are my tips. I'm going to be 49 in March. So about five months from now, I'm going to be 49 years old. I have five grown daughters. I have eight grandchildren. And I have to thank the skincare that I use and this wonderful concealer that I just showed you all. Okay? you If you go watch the replay and see my face before I did this, these tips, you're going to see a transformation. And I'm always blown away by how awesome and easy these products are to use. They're like, they mind blown me every time. And I don't wear makeup that often. So when I do need to wear makeup, they're just so easy to use. Right? Yes, Jen, right? Grown old is, is, is not, it's actually not required. You don't have to grow old. You're only as old as you feel, and I feel amazing. I feel wonderful. Um, these products that I use have really helped me. They don't just make me feel and look incredible, because look at me right now. Okay, I'm not trying to be boastful or conceited. I know what it looked like before I started, and I think I'm beautiful even before I put makeup on. But my skin being so healthy has really made a has made a huge difference. It's made a world of a difference. So that is it. That's all. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you learned something new, maybe that you didn't know. Um, and if you have any questions, you're never obligated to purchase anything. But if you do have a skin condition and you do have questions and you need more information, please message me. Please message the person that shared this. They are knowledgeable just as I am. Um, you are not obligated to just come to me. If this is not, sh if you're watching this live on the replay on someone else's wall, please message your friend. Please message them. All right, ladies, have a great weekend. Look for me later. I'm going to be doing some great, cute little Halloween looks with four of my grandchildren later on tonight. And I will be posting them. They don't know yet, but when they get here, they are going to have some fun with me, whether they want to or not. <laughs> They're going to have some fun. So thank you for watching. Have a great weekend. Sunday I will not be going live. It's a day of rest here um, in my home. God bless you all. Have an amazing day. Stay pucker up beautiful. Bye.